All right, Art 4, I'll make this quick. We need to work on our dramatic viewpoint um, project preparations. So I'm just going to open up my example because I'm kind of doing this with you. And basically, um, we need to get some stuff out of the way. First of all, I was hoping you'd take that reference picture last week on already. I'm guessing some of you haven't. So go, you know, you had your plan for what you wanted to do for this project. Go out and get that picture. Um, I uh, wanted to take a picture of my mom doing this. She was cleaning jello out of the refrigerator, and uh, she, um, it just looks awesome. <laughs> it looks like she's a murderer, but she's not. She's just cleaning jello. Okay, so uh, show me your reference picture. It's important to go out and get that because it does take time to make it. The next thing is I want um, to know your movie color palette, so it's good to have this on hand. I'm choosing the color palette from the movie Amelie because it has a strong contrast of red and green, which I really, really like, plus some more like softer neutral colors, which um, I don't know. I like it. So that's what I'm going to use. I think it'll play well into what I want to do with my um, drawing, which speaking of, I want to see that. So make a quick sketch of your project. And I'd like you to make basically like a color map. So plan out where your colors from your color palette are going to go. If you look closely, I'm uh, mostly filling my space with the yellows and the greens from that color palette right there um, because I really want to put emphasis on the red jello that's on her hand and on her little butter knife she's scraping the refrigerator out with. Um, you know, and there's a little bit of red jello right there in the refrigerator too. I think it'd be fun to have that contrast. But your decision of where to put which colors is all up to you. So let's make a plan for that. It's good to plan this out now. And this actually took me a second. I had to make some decisions. Um, I wasn't sure what to do. So just a quick color map, quick sketch, you know, color it in a little bit, or you can even just label where you want your different colors to go. That's fine too. But I think doing this preparation beforehand will um, really, really benefit us and get us off on the right foot when we're actually finally digging into this project. So that's your assignment for today and good luck.